Hey everybody, I'm using a tripod for this one today. And if you listen closely, you might be able to hear Elena or playing her cello in the background. My workbench down in the basement is also really close to where we feed the cat. So if you look in the right, you can see Cleo over here. Hey Cleo. Cleo. Oh, hi sweetie. So sometimes if we're quiet in our house or doing something quiet, you can kind of be near the cat and not freak her out. So maybe she'll hang out while we're doing this. Today's how-to topic is about boot oiling. Um, lots of good products out there. This is Norwegian. You can buy this at any uh, hardware store like Tenny's. Um, this is what I used to use all the time, but I definitely use uh, Red Wings boot oil now. This kind of stuff is available at the um, shoe repair shop in the old brewery on Main Street, that neat old big building. There's a there's a guy who is kind of a, he's an amazing dude. He can do anything with leather and canvas and um, has repaired a bunch of different pairs of shoes and boots for me over the years. Um, but I tend to, in the summertime, I wet foot canoe, which means I wear a pair of leather boots, but I, and I wear them wet. And as you can see, they get really, really thirsty as a consequence. You can even see where the, the leather is separating from the, from the rubber just a little bit. So what I need to do is use this boot oil on these very thirsty boots and see if I can get, get them kind of rejuvenated. <clears throat> One of the things I've found in my life is spending maybe a little bit more money up front on something that is gonna last a long time and then taking care of it and looking after it has, um, I, I kind of love that about, um, especially my outdoor gear. This pair of boots I bought when I was 18 and I'm 46 now. So I hope I get a lot more years out of it. So um, I am betting that for many of you, boot oiling is a whole lot less interested, than, less interesting than the cat. So. Let's go over here and see if we can find her. She's staring down her food. She's wondering when she's going to be fed. And she is a good kitty. Let's see if we can get her to purr. Be well, everyone. Chin up.